Being a fanboy is fun. It's easy. You just take everything that you hear that's really, really good news, and you talk about it. And you take everything that you hear that's not good news, and you ignore it forever. Hey, smash the like button. Thank you. And while I am a fan of Tesla, I would like to differentiate myself between being a fan and a fanboy. I hope this video takes a step towards that. We've been having alerts on the Model 3. We didn't at first, but we did eventually. It was right after a software update, so we thought, oh, maybe the software update did it. They look like this, and we didn't know what to think about them. But we took it to the service center, and it ended up being a really beneficial thing for us because they were able to fix a couple of creaks that the Model 3 was making. I'll demonstrate that now. And it was really nice to make those creaks go away. Uh, build quality, obviously not perfect with Tesla and still isn't as this is a 2021 built in September Model 3. But under warranty, totally taken care of. Try that at your Ford dealership. Stepping aside from that though, they were unable to create this again. So we had to go with, I guess, another service appointment, or they said they might be able to send mobile service down. We didn't know what to do, but we tried everything. I tried the steering wheel reset. We tried the turning off the car. I'll put examples here and a link in the description to those. And that didn't work. So it's really, really annoying when you drive your car for a living, as my wife does, and every time you get out and go inside of a patient's house, your car alarm starts going off for absolutely no reason. But we dove a little deeper, and finally, we figured out the solution. It's permission. We are Apple people here. We use iPhones. But this protection that Apple provides ended up being a big inconvenience for us. So how did we fix it? Well, went into settings and did this. All right, go to settings, scroll down to your Tesla app under settings, and you're gonna go to location. We had it set on while using the app and we switched it to always. It was that easy. You have to say allow always. Another reason I published this video is just because this answer isn't out there. We just wanna help people who are having the same problem. Don't get paranoid about your device tracking you. The Tesla app is designed to do that for your protection, security, convenience, and everything else. I hope this video helped. Please subscribe to the channel. We're trying really hard to get to 1,000 subscribers. It would be an amazing milestone for us. We work really hard to provide you with beneficial content that can really help you with your electric car and your electric future. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.